This greenhouse is an oasis of calm and tranquility, but these potted plants and flourishing allotments have an important purpose. This space at Overdale is being used to help people prepare both physically and mentally to return to work. We'll have people who may be off three months, six months, a couple of years, ten years. Pulling out of work can have a massive impact, not just from a financial perspective, but also in terms of somebody's self-confidence, um, the, the work environment and the attitudes of employers can have a huge influence on somebody's uh, ability to return to work. Anna felt a pain in her back four years ago. She told her manager she was going to the chiropractor, left her desk and never returned. She's since been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, a condition which causes pain all over the body and chronic fatigue syndrome. It just paralyses you because you don't know what's wrong with you. And it was very scary uh, at the time and I had to stop working for the first time in my entire life, which was very hard. Um, and of course the symptoms can be very debilitating as well. So it affects your, your mental health really in a big way. Anna says these diagnoses have changed every aspect of her life. When she heard about the horticultural therapy group, at first she was doubtful it would help. I was prepared to just try anything because I was desperate. And at the beginning, uh, it was very hard. But every time I came here, I left feeling better. Coming here was, was wonderful. I, it gave me um, a reason to go out. Only one third of people living with pain who've been out of work for a year or more will return. The Jersey Pain Team helps patients rehabilitate by learning to manage their conditions. Here, a holistic approach to fully support people recover psychologically and physically is the main aim. Imagine being in a position where you can't walk, you're worried about your investigations, you're in trouble with your medication or not on a good medical package of care, where you become deconditioned and fearful about moving, where you have perhaps trauma, you're really low in mood, you can't sleep, sleep interferes with everything else we do and you are in that bundle of difficulty. To just say, well, I'll give you a tablet for sleeping, I'll get you to see a psychologist or do a bit of exercise alone is difficult for that to be enough. Anna has now gradually returned to work and thanks the therapy group for teaching her to live and enjoy life with her conditions. If you're not well, you can, you can just sit down and do something with your hands. Um, and um, that was telling me that, yes, you might not be able to do certain things, but you can do others. And that seed of hope just, um, you know, this was a seed of hope for me coming here, I have to say. A vital step in the road to recovery and rediscovering a love for life. Annie Nolson, ITV News.